Oh yeah, we've got entire streets, oh. city blocks, and and blocks in the neighborhoods that are just so beautiful. nice. I know, and now the thunderstorms might make the blossoms fall off a little bit more rapidly, and no doubt with tomorrow's wind as well, probably upwards of 40 miles per hour. And here we go, new Skywatch camera for us here to add to our arsenal. We do have some light rain falling in downtown Bismarck, but many thanks to our engineering staff for getting this on top of our studios here on the rooftop. Here it is now 60. Five degrees, not much wind away from those thunderstorms, but we're not done yet. Actually, a more sizable sail, uh, hail, perhaps hail sail, uh, somewhere down to the south of Lincoln, although not many returns showing up on radar, but there is a period of heavy rain now moving mostly south of Bismarck, but we're not done yet because more showers and storms back toward and the southwest. We'll look at that with our first worn sky tracker Doppler radar. Again, that this is a non severe thunderstorm. No warning might be some small, maybe pea sized hail, all of which moving south of Bismarck, perhaps a little bit closer to Lincoln. But other than that, we do have a warning here in southwest North Dakota. Hedinger under the warning, and it wasn't too long ago we had a wind gusts at the Hedinger Airport of 70 miles per hour. That no doubt constitutes a severe thunderstorm warning. Lemon, South Dakota, your we're under a severe thunderstorm warning here in Perkins County as well uh, for the next several minutes. Farther north, conditions have improved around Minot, but now we're beginning to see a little bit more pop up just to the east of Max and more thunderstorms back into eastern Montana, back towards central Montana as well. So I think the, thre the threat for thunderstorms here will definitely be continuing during the course of the evening. But the key here would be on a scattered basis. We're not looking for a solid line of severe thunderstorms, nor a major severe weather outbreak. We're on that level two out of five still from the Storm Prediction Center, and that means scattered thunderstorms and those that form, continue to form, have that capability of becoming severe. The main threat will be gusty winds like we saw in Hedinger around 70 miles per hour, and the secondary threat would be some large hail, although the reports so far have mainly been pea sized but as I showed you with that video from Karen in Arnegard, a little bit larger than peas coming down here about an hour or two ago. But the threat does continue here. Uh any, within any point uh, within 25 miles, about a 50% potential of having some damaging wind gusts, and much the same goes with that threat for hail. Conditions begin to stabilize, but not until later on tonight. Rain cooled air in Bismarck now at 65 after reaching the middle 80s today. 87 in Mowbridge, still 90 in Aberdeen in the warm sector of the storm, also in Fargo where it's 87, but cooling down farther toward the west here where the wind is erratic, no doubt about it, but looking at the highest winds in northwest South Dakota, again associated with thunderstorms as well, but average wind speeds around 10 to 20. The wind will really begin to whip up the for tomorrow. We're going to look for the mo the center of that cyclone staying in Canada. That means strong west winds, 20 to 40 miles per hour. Despite mostly sunny skies, it'll be a cool day. Look for highs only in the 60s here for our Saturday. We do rebound into the 70s for Sunday and a chance for an afternoon shower, but not as windy. Opposite direction to the wind. In fact, next week is going to be cool. Highs in the low 60s and periodic chances for showers. But I don't foresee severe weather. Okay. So at least we have a lot of sixties there. A lot of sixties, that's Thanks. right.